information gathering tool is what we call as metadata extraction there is a beautiful tool called as ht track which is nothing but a website copier now what exactly is the task of this tool as its name implies it is a website copier so not only it will download the html pages but along with that it will also download the images the text files the other document files the plugins the themes wordpress plugins for that matter which are basically used to uh, develop that website so using this you will get a lot of information about the plugins which are used to design that website if you somehow find any vulnerability with those plugins the then it is very easy for you to attack a website i am talking from a attacker's point of view attackers will try to find out vulnerabilities of those plugins which are used to create your website if they find out a vulnerability they can easily target your website and you will easily become a victim of a web attack hello and welcome back to the video tutorial series i hope you're liking the series so far so let's move ahead with the experiments we are going to explore a tool or a website copier called as ht track many of you might have already used this particular tool it's readily available open source tool it's very basic tool very simple and straightforward experiment okay so let's see why ht track is used ht track is nothing but a small tool which can create a clone of an existing website and store it on your computer it's very simple that that's straightforward we can see that it's having its ethical sides also as well as unethical uh, concerns also for example uh, if you uh, look at the ethical reasons or of, of using this particular tool it might be a consider a scenario that you are a web developer you have created a website for a particular company for a project and one fine day you see that uh, your hard disk has crashed you are not having any backup in that case what you can do is you can make use of such a tool that can create copies of your website on a daily basis so that in worst case scenarios like the one we discussed just now you can have a recent backup copy of the website in hand similarly the unethical uh, concerns of this particular tool may be the same scenario can be used by an attacker also the same thing which we discussed just now the attacker can use make use of the same things attacker can make use of the same tool same procedure same techniques to make a copy of an already existing website to create a look alike website i guess you are familiar with the term phishing phishing is nothing but trying to fake something for example in the recent past there had uh, there have been many issues uh, regarding fake websites which are used to basically capture your user credentials you, example for example your user ids and passwords so such phishing websites can be created with the help of such tools okay so these are the ethical as well as unethical concerns of this particular tool now let's see how this tool actually works uh very simple straightforward tool the site is mentioned over here i will provide the site in the description box you can simply visit this particular site over here and download the tool depending upon your version you can simply install it on your desktop or wherever you wish the particular tool will some look something like this very straightforward interface you simply need to click on next give your project a name for example my project is experiment number 3 keep the category blank we will be using the same website that is this particular website testphp.vulnerableweb.com we are going to use the same website for each and every experiments we are going to perform in this series as i had already mentioned we are not going to perform it on real life websites we are going to perform it only on testing websites so let's stick uh, stick to it testphpvulnweb.com okay just select a location for your particular project i'm selecting the desktop create a file create any particular folder you wish for example i'm typing ht hypertext okay so let next click uh, click on next it will ask you what action you want to perform these are the various actions download website download website plus questions simply stick on to the download website option okay now provide the url which we discussed just now okay this is the url copy it and paste it over here next click on next 
keep the settings as it is you don't want to do any change to the machine after you have created a copy so don't do any changes to the gui click on finish it will take two to three minutes depending upon the size of the website if you're doing this on a real life website it might take more time depending upon that uh, contents of that particular website but as i already mentioned we are sticking to the testing website so it is not having much content i guess it will be downloaded in a few seconds as you can see it's already over so basically our copying is complete we can click on finish and minimize this tool let's go to the site or let's go to the location where we had copied this particular project here i can see the ht folder this is where i had created my project click on it see experiment number 3 over there this is the website which we had copied now you can see this is the actual website over here and this is the copy of the website you can clearly make out that there is no difference in the look and feel the only difference being the address bar the actual website is already hosted so it is having its unique url on the other hand if i see this this is the copied website it looks as it is same but the url is different because it's on my local machine so now you can see that in a matter of few seconds or few minutes the entire website could be copied with the help of this tool ht track so that's it in this video on ht track in the next video we are going to learn about a very unique concept called as wayback machine with the help of which you can in fact go back in time and check whether a particular website was existing in that particular time period or not how that particular website used to look at that time and how it actually looks right now so stay tuned for that video on wayback machines